Hi, this is Adam, and um, today we are going to be tackling a problem that's very common with Quest 2 users, and it is the left control stick drift. Um, so, um, before you get started on this, there's two things that you need. You need a tool like this, or if you can't, don't have access to that, something like that. Um, a guitar pick. You'll notice this looks a lot like a guitar pick. I'm pretty sure it was the inspiration for this because a guitar pick will work just great. Um, and most people have a music store nearby, even if they're out in the country somewhere. Um, so, um, but I fix it. This is the what, what I'm gonna be doing is actually straight out of a, an I fix it guide, but I could not find a video for it. So I'm doing my own um, just to help other people out. So I kind of had to fumble through mine. Um, this tool right here um, came with one of my iFixit batteries that I bought um, to replace in one of my iPhones. And um, I've probably had it for a long time. But this is a perfect tool to use on this. So, um, first thing, um, well, besides the tool, you need this stuff. This is um, is actually sold in Walmart's in the automotive section, and um, a lot of people recommend getting WD-40 brand electronic cleaner. And there is nothing wrong with that stuff. It is great stuff. Um, I don't recommend people. If I'm telling somebody how to do this and they're going to go home and they're going to do it themselves, especially if they're not technically inclined um, and maybe don't follow directions well, I tend to not recommend the WD-40 stuff. Reason why is they could possibly hear the first part of what you say and not the second part. So you're kind of getting where I'm going with this. Um, Regular WD-40. If you spray this, if you spray this controller down with it, it will kill the controller. So, yeah, don't want to recommend that stuff. So I generally don't. Um, this stuff. I've got another reason why I recommend this stuff in particular. This stuff is almost half the price of the WD-40 stuff. WD-40's got a big brand, and um, they 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 want good money for it. Um, and rightfully so. They make they make good stuff. I I I, I just. I usually have a can of WD-40 somewhere um, of the regular stuff. Um, if I'm if I need electronics cleaner, I usually get this stuff because I, I like bang for the buck. And um, with this stuff, I'm not paying for a name; I'm paying for what it does. This is like five or six bucks. The can of WD-40 electronic cleaner is approaching ten. Um, so get this stuff. Um, You'll find it generally in, uh, like I said, the automotive section. It's usually in the section where the, you find like the belt dressings, um, mass airflow sensor cleaner. Um, I think they probably have car waxes in that area, stuff like that. Um, this is usually um, usually on the top shelf next to the belt dressing. Is usually where I find it. Um, so yeah, get this stuff. All right, so let's get started and. Before you do anything, before you do anything, take your battery cover off, pull your battery out. It's low voltage, one battery may not mess anything up. Don't take that chance. These are not cheap. So take the battery out. Next thing you want to do is with that battery cover off, got a second reason to take that off. You get access to the side of this top panel. You want to take your little tool or your guitar pick or whatever you got. Um, if all you got is a guitar pick, I will say you might want to grab a really thin screwdriver or a tweaker or something like that. And you want to get in between the dark cover and the white plastic. And start prying it up and you want to be careful with that tweaker because when you do that with that tweaker or that real thin screwdriver 
it's going to leave marks on that plastic. Probably won't hurt the controller functionality wise, but you may not like the way it looks when you're done with this. So um, if you're if you're vain about appearance, you might want to get the right tool to do this. And I'm sure I fix it would probably sell it to you for cheap. Um, I bought I'll, I got a whole kit of this stuff when I bought my first um, replacement battery, and that says how good their stuff is. It doesn't break. It lasts forever. So take it and pry up around that edge and you'll see it starts prying up around the other parts of it you're, you're gonna have to work it out so I would I, I would I would advise going up around there just pry some more now mine came off real easy reason why is I've had this off a few times there is adhesive that meta or oculus Whoever, um, applied around the edge of this that you have to break to get it off the first time um, once you get it off the first time the um, times after that's not near as bad um, but there still is some adhesive left so you will you know yeah just be aware of that so take this piece set it off the side and now you can see Wish I had more lighting, but uh, kind of show different angles so you can see what all's in there. Um, this spring, don't mess with. Don't bend it out of shape. Um, do your best. I, I just avoid touching it, so just leave it alone. Um, now, according to iFixit, there are different versions of these controllers. Just be aware of that. If you have an Oculus brand controller and you got it toward uh, the beginning of the Quest 2 coming out, you may have a different controller than I have. Um, it looks the same, it looks almost identical, but there is apparently a difference in the spring that's up under this joystick. Um, just be aware of that. Um, from what I can tell, by reading the um, iFixit instructions. I think the spring hooks into the bottom of the um, joystick plastic or something, and you have to make sure you get it back on the right way that it was when you took it off. Um, on this particular controller, I, this is an Oculus branded controller. You can see it's got the Oculus symbol and all that stuff. Um, I bought it not long before they changed it all to Meta. So this is one of the, I think it's the same, probably the same revision as the Metas. Um, and it's, uh, from what I understand, a lot easier to work on. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to get this joystick off of here. As you guys can see, you want to get this joystick off. And um, there's nothing special to that. Um, it just pulls right off. So what I do is I just get joystick in my hand, get my thumb under one side, get my index finger under the other, and just pry up. And it might be a little stubborn at first, just yeah, seeing it came right off. Easy peasy. So this is what's up under it. There's basically a stick and the spring that I was talking about earlier. Um, so while I do have a spring, it's a lot easier to deal with. Um, so now this is this is where you're going to need to spray your electronic cleaner. So shake it up, make sure your straws on there so you uh, can do this in controlled bursts. Um, just to warn you, this is just from my personal experience, and I don't remember if this is mentioned in the um, iFix and instructions. You want to avoid spraying this stuff on these buttons. The reason why is is that. Um, I have had these buttons be difficult to push down. They didn't, uh, um, they didn't push down good, and they um, they didn't function very well. Um, it was not a permanent problem. Um, I think I think this stuff gets up under the buttons and just causes them not to compress well. And what I found was after that, well, you know. Luckily, most games that I play, um, the X, Y buttons aren't used very often. Um, so 
they, they might be used to save the game. Like like Half Life Alex, for example, used to save the game. Um, Skyrim VR, um, pretty much the same thing. Look at quests, save the game, um, that kind of stuff. Um, so you, it's not mission critical. You can press it multiple times and get get it to do what you need to do. Um, and the more you push it, I think it pushes out the um, trapped electronic cleaning solution and gets it out of there. And once it's out of there, it evaporates very quickly. Um, the uh, chemicals that are in this eva evaporate very fast. With that said, I recommend using this stuff in an area that's well ventilated because when it evaporates, it's got to go somewhere. If you're in a room with very little ventilation, it's going to go straight in the air. It's going to go straight in your lungs, and who knows what it's going to do to you after that. So be safe. Use it in a well-ventilated area. Um, i got fans going. i got a door open over there, so we should be good. All right, so shake your stuff up, and this is what I would do. Turn the controller upside down. And... A little bit spray at first. And then grab it like this. Or you can push on that thumbstick, rotate it around. Rotate it around and spray at the same time. Work it really good. You want it to get all in there. Yeah, spray it real good. You want to do this good enough that you won't have to do this again for a while. And then after you finish spraying, work it a little more. All right, that's good enough. Then I would set this. Let gravity be your friend. Um, if you got any that's trapped in the controller, gravity is going to help pull it out and have it drip out. And I would say give it a good five or ten minutes before you try to do anything with this controller. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble it just for the purposes of the video because I could easily get this back apart. So, shake it a little bit. All right. Now, as they say in a lot of instructions, reverse is the same as removal. Um, reverse is, uh, well, reassembly is reverse removal. Um, so when you go to put this thing back together if you look and I wish I had more light to show you but um, actually, let me do that perks of having two phones um, I don't know if you can see that but the um, the shape of the hole is kind of an oval with flat sides. You'll just need to line that up with the controller, the, the stick that's in there. It's got the same shape. And I just find that you can um, generally just put the stick, put the, um, the outer joystick over the inner one and rotate it around a little bit. And then it'll just fall into place. So as you can see, it was off there, and then I just uh, had it. <laughs> just rotate it until it gets to a good spot. To where it was, yeah, and then it just drops down. And then just put it in your hand, push it down until it clicks, and then click it down a few times, like you normally would in a game. Maybe rotate it around, click it. That makes sure it's seated good. And then take your black piece. And line it up on the controller. I start with the joystick itself. Line up the biggest hole with that. And then line up all the other buttons with it. Get it down past the joystick um, top part which you'll find is just a hair smaller than the hole. Um, get it past there, 
get it into position, and then just push down on the edges to seat it back in place. Yeah, and just go around it a few times, make sure it's seated good. Make sure the button's pressed good because I'd imagine if you don't have this quite seated right, which I don't think you can really do that. I, th I, I think it has. I think it only. I think it can only seat one way because there's there's plastic tabs on the bottom side of this black piece that um, that fit in the notches, um, recessed notches in the white plastic. So I don't think it'll allow you to get it slightly off or anything like that. So just make sure it's seated real good. Pop your battery in, put your battery cover on, voila, you're done. Um, I will say, if you're still having issues, of course, make sure you've let this sit and dry. Um, I know I didn't. I did that just for purposes of the video. Make sure you let it sit and dry 15, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, that would be my advice. And uh, if you're still having issues like with, with this, you can try to do this again. Um, doing it a few times may help. Um, it, may, it may have a cumulative effect. Um, give it a try. If it's still not helping, you may be looking at replacing the controller. Um, I think they're about 50 or 60 bucks off the, uh, off the Oculus store. Um, from what I understand, third party sources of these controllers, they want even more money. So you can't go uh, to Amazon or eBay or something like that and get a replacement for a decent price. I, I don't know why that is, but it is. Um, I think it was due to the, uh, the shortages that they had on these for a while um, due to having trouble getting parts out of China, um, which may be getting ready to happen again. Anyway, um, I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, good luck. Bye.